Okay, to properly do an insert of an EQ, we've got to make sure we've got the right cable to do it with. And there are white cables available. And here is an example of one right here. Some Y cable to do the insert. But what we got to understand is this is not just a regular Y cable. It's a special cable used to do this type of application. So if you notice the end of it here, it's got two ends on it. One of these is a send and the other one is a receive. So basically, then on the other end of it, one is a send and one is a receive. So in this example, this side right here is going to send the signal and this side here is going to return the signal back to the board. Okay, so for this example, we're going to be using the top EQ and more specifically the, uh, the very top there, the uh, top channel of that top EQ. Now the equalizer can be placed in different parts of a sound system, meaning it can be used on a channel as an insert, it can be used on a group as an insert, it can be used on the main output as an insert, or it could be used on the main output as an inline EQ. There's benefits and drawbacks to having an EQ positioned in any one of those positions, so hopefully uh, we'll shed some light on this. Okay, and so to start out with, looking at the back of the board, you see that top row of of openings there those are the inserts and this is where the insert cable is going to go the one right below that is also an input this is what I'm using currently right now for a CD player as an example and this is the one I have here for a uh, mic that I'm using so to start out with we're going to put the insert cable into the insert position okay and here we are on the back of the EQ this is inside the rack uh, I've got a rack light on, so hopefully uh, everybody can see it. On the uh, right-hand side there is the input. And that is going to be the send side of the cable that I showed you earlier. So all we got to do is connect the send side into the input because we're sending the EQ a signal. Then on the opposite side of it, there is a... Uh, uh, where is it? There we go. See that where it says output? Okay, that's going to be the return, or what's called a ring. So if you see it right here, we got ring right here. And we're going to flip this over. Well, can't get it here. There we go. And there's the tip. The tip and the ring. The tip, as you can tell, is going to the input. The ring is coming from the output. This is how you insert an EQ into a signal chain. Okay, so to start out with, we have an EQ inserted into channel 2. And this is where we have a CD currently being played. And we're going to pan down here a little bit. We're going to take a look. There we go. We have a signal coming in on that channel. So we know that's good. And we're going to select a pre-fade listen. We're going to pan over and take a look at the metering. Okay, our signal's coming in. It's coming in loud and clear. Looks good. Now, when we pan up to the EQ, let's take a look at it. Here's the very top position right there. Okay, that's showing us that the signal that is coming into the board is being routed over to this EQ and it's coming back to the board. Now, why would you put an EQ into an insert on a channel? Well, you would do that if you're not satisfied or happy with how the, the EQs are set up or the EQ availability that's on a particular board. Now, on this Yamaha, the Yamaha is pretty good. It has a um, sweepable mid, which works, but the upper and lower EQs are fixed, so we can't really change those. So what we're doing by using an EQ on the channel insert is we're replacing the EQ that's on the board. Now you can use both the EQ and the EQ that's on the board. However, if using an EQ as an insert, it's recommended to set the EQ on the board, everything to be flat and just strictly use the EQ that you have inserted. Uh, this also works for vocals 
It also works especially well for drums. If you've got a kick drum that needs maybe a little bit more thump or you want that sort of that thock sound out of it and if your board EQ is not that strong then you would want to use an EQ as an insert. But as I said the EQ running as an insert needs to be used minimally, very sparingly.